So hi, it's me, Denny Daniel of the Museum of Interesting Things. Welcome to the Vaudeville Secret Speakeasy, the very first one we've ever done. Uh, we're debuting it and we're gonna debut soon an original donation, uh, an original vaudeville suitcase, which I have here <laughs> that was donated to us. And I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna look, at, we're gonna find the contents in it. Uh, it was from a vaudeville performer and it's literally like a time capsule. It's as if she got off stage, put this in her closet and never touched it again. And then uh, a very dear friend of mine, Michelle, uh, called me up and said, and she was ironically a vaudeville artist and gave me the suitcase. And I'm like, you don't want this yourself. She goes, no, no, I think it should teach people. I think it should be part of the museum. Uh, and it makes me part of the legacy of the museum. So she added it to the museum and then I opened it up and it had like the original wigs and the makeup and the clipping articles from back then. It's like early 1900s, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, so we're gonna open that up and we're gonna have some of the performances and show some 16 millimeter films. For those of you who don't know, the museum travels all over the country before COVID <laughs> and, and uh, teaches kids and adults that their iPhones didn't pop out of thin air. It's kind of uh, what I call the missing link factor, all the links in the chain until you get to your iPhone. Um, it's kind of the history of invention, but it's almost anything because it's interesting things. So I can do a show on the suffragettes and a show on fashion and a show on music or a show on photography. And today we're doing, of course, vaudeville. Um, now there's a great artist out there, uh, uh, Travis, Travis D, uh, Travis SD or something, who has a great vaudeville website that I'll try. I, I invited him, but I didn't get to him fast enough. So hopefully he'll get on and put the link on. If not, we'll try to get it to you some other time if you want to know more about vaudeville. Um, but tonight we're going to play a bunch of films and have performances. And the films are going to be vaudeville and soundies. And soundies are kind of the film version of vaudeville. Um, uh, it's kind of the next level of vaudeville, but it's still that kind of vaudevillian tradition that most of the comedians came out of. So if you watched people like, you know, uh, the Marx Brothers, the Three Stooges, Jerry Lewis, all these comedians come out of that tradition of vaudeville. Um, that, that it traces it back to that. Um, even the burlesque beginning is, is that kind of vaudevillian type performances because burlesque wasn't burlesque, which is American striptease. Originally, uh, burlesque, uh, the word I believe means like comedy, and it was supposed to be like a political satire in France. And then of course it came to America and everyone had to do what they did, you know, Americans. Uh, but now it's going back to that original tradition. So the people doing it today have brought back the art and the culture uh, back to it. And it's absolutely amazing. Um, but you know, vaudeville basically is kind of the, the root and then every kind, kind of uh, branches out all over the place. So the first film I'm going to show, let me try to remember which one we put in there. I'm staring right at Amanda. Which one did we put in there? What was the first one we put in? I know it's a short one. It wasn't the hut tub no, it thing. Wasn't. Oh, you know what it was? It was that guy. Yeah, we didn't, I, I'm debuting this one. We've never shown this one before. So Stephen and everyone, all my, all my uh, helpers and workers, uh, they, you, none of us have seen this. We saw like a, a few seconds of it in the beginning and we were like, oh, I like this. Why did we never show this one? Um, I forget his name, Tubby something or other, but it, it's, a, it's a vaudeville piece. It's a short one. It's kind of like a probably three, four or five minutes, you know, not less than five minutes, 16 millimeter film. Everything you're gonna be seeing when it comes to film is 16 millimeter films from the early to mid 1900s being played on, we've got three Kodak uh, 1960s projector, 1965, give or take, because we've got three of them. So that's what you're going to be watching live on that screen. Nothing has been digitized for you. We're going completely uh, kamikaze on this and having fun with it. So you're seeing everything live on the air. So the first film is a debut of vaudeville stuff. Enjoy. Yeah, 
to play another very, very cool film to get you guys kind of on the roll of this, you know, soundy vaudeville kick. And the films are so much fun anyway, so I totally want you to enjoy them. Uh, I'm sorry we're late. late. What? Not I'm sorry we're late. You are not late. We just, we only did one film and it was oh. only three minutes. You missed almost nothing. Okay. Um, so you're very good, Ida. Thank you very much. Ida just donated an enormous amount of stuff. Oh no, keep that light on. Because <laughs> um, that's my spotlight. I'm using the projector light. Um, so uh, I just want to make an interesting announcement for one human. Imagine that, such an important human. Jessica. Jessica, welcome. I'm glad you got in. And I have an amazing surprise for you. I wish I had brought it here. I didn't know you were going to be here. I got a birthday record with your name on it. <laughs> so for birthday birthday, I will be able to actually ha play on a 1965 um, 1965 Fisher Price record player, a happy birthday song for you, <laughs> personally. How cool is that? We'll have to wait for your next birthday <laughs> for that. Uh, so David, I was glad that you managed to get Jess in. Uh, and thanks again for uh, finding a way to get the video for me. I'll find it whenever you're able to make all that happen. Someone had a hard time doing the Mermaid Parade video for me, uh, John, Johnny, Bo John, John's Bones. And, uh, and he'll be doing a cameo for us on another show, a Quack Medical show. Um, but he used Google Drive to do it and it worked out great. Um, so maybe try Google Drive if you have that. So the next one is the, um, let me try to remember the name, Stephen. It's the Hut Sut song. Is that what the name was, if you recall well? Uh, oh, I, think I it was have called no idea. The, <laughs> I think it was the Hut Sut. It is like the craziest, craziest song in the world. Uh, apparently, it was such a sensation at the time that it was being, it, the radio play on it was so out of control that someone apparently made a spoof on how out of control it is that they're like going crazy. It's it basically, it's causing people to go into mental institutions. You're so, you're hearing it so much on the radio. Yeah, I guess that would be kind of our version of the Kardashians. Um, at any rate, 
Uh, so this is the Hot Sat song, if I'm getting it right. Another one of these great uh, soundies that comes out of the vaudeville um, tradition. Didn't Horton sing that? Horton hears the Horton yeah. hatches the egg. I know, right? Let me, I'll read it right off the box. Hang on. But it should be in the credits. But I'll read it off the box for you. I'll put the box up to the camera even. Can everyone see that? Really? I it's remember hearing blurry. Horton the Elephant sing the Hutsud song and the Horton hatches the egg. Oh, maybe he did. It was a really popular song, apparently. I never heard of it until now. <laughs> Although I'd have heard of it, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a lot of old cartoons. But, um, I'd have hung out with, uh, with uh, Dr. Seuss, so that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Dr. Seuss, an interesting story. He got accepted to Oxford. And I, I think it was his girlfriend at the time, then became his wife. She convinced him to drop out of Oxford to, become an, to fly back to America and to be an artist. What an amazing, that's a person you marry. You know, that's a keeper. Anyone who has that much faith in you that they'll make you quit Oxford to come back to America and be an artist. And one of his biggest clients was like a bug company. Uh, what was it, Flint, Flint or something, Flint. But anyway, they, that was like his first big account. And I'd be like, wow, why did I quit Oxford for that? But that became a big account and it became a sensation all over the country. And then he did his first book and became Dr. Seuss. Uh, and it's all because of that. Uh, so imagine that, had he stayed in Oxford, who knows, we would have ended up with uh, a rhyming philosopher. <laughs> At any rate, so here we go with the uh, a song, if I said that right. And then we're going to have a live performance from whoever decides to go first. So I'll do uh, her first, but then we just do a song. Oh, no. 
Hello, hello. So I've got an amazing, amazing, amazing surprise for you. Our first performer. Uh, they are brilliant. I saw them at uh, the Zero Boy show uh, and, I, and I absolutely love them. And she does a lot of really creative uh, work with theater. Can I say it? Theater for the New City. Theater for the New City. Yeah, yes. which is just an iconic place. I spent my childhood there. I did lots of gigs there. So if you don't know it, go to their venue because A, we all need the support, and B, they do really good stuff. Uh, so she's going to be doing a performance with her band, uh, and it's, it's brilliant. It's great stuff called The Head Peddlers. So I bring to you uh, Liz and Carl doing The Head Peddlers. Let me get you guys in the frame. So if you see yourselves, you're in. All right. <laughs>
with sewage we're doing socially distanced things in Tompkins Square Park and uh, we could do a sewage song if you want an orgasm <laughs> I've got a, we I have like a two minute song if we can uh, well, later it's all right it's I okay. picked a song that has to do with monkeys that was all one I, I wanted I knew you were doing monkey suit ah uh, this is a song called this is a film Oh, do you like monkeys? Oh, okay. Well, we can keep okay. uh, vamping. So we don't want to mess that up. Okay, we're vamping. So if a, he did mention this was a dress, I could tell him about this. I bought this for ten bucks, Excellent. and we made it into a shirt. Thank you. And yes, you're welcome. Yes. <laughs> she, Liz, made it into a shirt. And uh, theater for the New City weekends, uh, two p.m. Saturdays and Sundays, the Street Theater, live zooming at theaterforthenewcity.com. 
N E T. And when the world opens, it's on Second Avenue, right? Uh, it's all over the park, so yeah. every city park. Um, oh wow! But that'll cool. be next year. Hopefully. Wow, very okay. good. Yeah, yeah. Like next yeah. year. Yeah. So that song was called. The last song you played was Monkey Suit. Monkey Suit by the and Plasmatics, by the way. That is an yeah, 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 the yeah, first yeah. one was yeah. ours. Sometimes, yeah. right. So uh, another hand for the head peddlers. Um, and like I said, I've got a, the film I'm going to play is uh, Do You Like Monkeys? So perfect Whoa. for okay. in, well, in a Thank monkey you so much. <laughs> you Thank are beyond you welcome. All right, so okay. what's awesome. the monkey thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'll play song. The head peddlers are now silent film stars. And that's Kit walking through my screen. accompaniment how cool is that it's like you were alive in the early 1900s and we had like the piano guy and the guitar guy Fantastic. you know doing stuff um so that was impromptu how cool is that they were really good for impromptu um so the next one i'm going to do uh the next film is oh susanna uh this is another one of these fun soundies and then we're gonna have spellcast do their thing so uh yay <laughs> and they're, they're actually in the house. How cool is that? So, uh, so oh, Susanna, and then still okay. have.
because of you. That's why I was yeah. like, this one isn't giving me a loop. So that one, you're on Zoom. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to cause a loop. Interesting. And oh, no. Well, you turn, you'll mute that one once we're ready. Yeah, we'll mute everybody and that'll hopefully kill, that'll kill them. Okay, so and uh, is there, well, you give the name for the performance. I'll introduce you. So, uh, and half of the people that are going to be doing stuff are actually the people that you see as staff at the museum, the door people and all, and the bar and all that. So uh, Kit and Amanda. But they, Kit, Kit has this amazing organization called Spellcast and they do a lot of programming. So, uh, so look them up. And by the way, um, if we post some, some links and donation pages, then please donate to the IDISs too. So hopefully you will find a way to post donation stuff for donating to the IDIS or find them and support them by going to their show, which would be even better. That's a donation and you get to see them live. Uh, so this is Spellcast doing their show and they'll tell you what it is, but let me, I have to do some tech stuff and make them host so that they're in control of their visuals. So hang on a second while I go into kits. There he is. And you are now, Kit, you are now, you have the con. Right. Excellent. Okay. So, so everyone, everyone enjoy. enjoy. Who's, oh, you better, you gotta mute yourself. I got you muted, okay? You're muted now. I'm muted, but the problem is that I still have an audio. So hold on, I'm going to show what I'm talking Okay. Have to mute your mic. So yeah. why am I seeing you and not myself I, on my screen? You need to spotlight yourself. Ah, I get it. That's, That's what well. that is. What is the spotlight? Because I'm spotlighted. So hold on, let me. What about let me, me do a Stanley? More How do I get up you? there, too? Oh God. Uh, oh, where is it? It's there. Okay. And this is Denny's kamikaze quick tech supporting on somebody else's computer. Where are you, Kit? Oh, I'm up there. Up there. Oh, further up? Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
You're there. Okay, you're up there. Oh, of course. Yeah. So uh, let me see how you do it with the Windows machine. More. What is this? Spotlight video. Hmm. And I spotlighted my dear friend there. Hi, Ava. Can we also spotlight Katrina as well? Can you spotlight I can't two? spotlight two. Why is she spotlighted instead of you? Fascinating. I'm not even it, on Katrina's. Katrina's like no, 10 no, down. Ava. I mean, Ava. I'm sorry, not Katrina. Uh, Ava, because you just said Katrina that made me. Wow, fascinating. I can't even unspotlight her. <laughs> Ava, you're just, you're just such a powerful personality. Stop. Cancel spotlight video. Okay, there we go. Okay, now go And now let me here. select you. Okay, there, there you are. Go. Okay, and so now on. what I want to do, I want, let's hear Katrina. Katrina, can you talk yeah, for a minute? can you hear me? Can I hear it's you? It's not Katrina, it's Annabelle, okay? Your volume is on, Katrina. We can okay. hear you. So we need her. We need her to be louder, right? Can we get her? She's in control of her own volume. Spotlight video? Can we spotlight both our videos? You can't spotlight both. Both, you have to, it'll, you can only do it, you can unspotlight and then it'll just, whoever's talking will be highlighted. Okay. Katrina? Yeah. Can you turn your volume yeah. up on your, oh, I can hear you now. Hello. Fantastic. There you are. Oh Hello. my God. See, who's Katrina? Who's Kit? I don't know these people. They did, yeah, they I don't like, know who that is either. My name's Annabelle. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm Stanley. Yeah, yeah, I know who you are, Stanley. Yeah, of course, of course. You know, it's been a pretty interesting time, you know. I mean, um, guess what? You know, I, I ran into some gypsies today. I actually, you know, it's pretty wild. Oh, yeah? Well, well what'd they say? Well, the first one, I mean, she was like, um, I don't know. She was like, she sang me this song, and... Uh, and it, it kind of went like this. You want to hear it? Yeah, yeah, show me. We are two fortune towns written to best house. We can see your past. So give us money fast. Last week, Prince called us up, asking for a raise. Isn't he dead? We would never lie. Did they pay it? Oh my God, you're going to die. Oh my God, you're going to die. Oh, well, that was very interesting, Stanley. Um, well, what else? Well, I didn't really like it much. I mean, she said that I would be kidnapped by pirates. Oh, well... Let's not worry about that. That's in the future. Let's be here in the now, Stanley. Be in the now, but then how are we gonna sing this song together when you're all the way over there and I'm all the way over here? Oh, it's easy. Okay, we just use our imagination. Oh, imaginations? Trust me, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, but nothing's happening. I think we're making fools of ourselves in front of this audience out there. Shh, Stanley, now open them. Okay. You better watch out, Stanley. I'm on the inside. Who are you? Queen Medea, sea hag, brethren of the coast, and harbor master of the Gowanus Canal. I'm the, and I'm the sea lion. Were the pirates going to kidnap you in the next episode of Spellcast? I, I don't think I'm going to like that. Captain's orders. Queen Medea's orders. 
Don't worry, Stanley. Let's sing and take our mind off it. <laughs> sing and take our mind off it? You don't know where I'm at, and this is like crazy stuff. Okay, um, I'll get started. I, 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 okay. Um, You'll do great, Stanley. Holding hands on the boardwalk Looking into each other's eyes Here we're breaking all love Today's rules To be with the sea and sky We're not getting laid on Tinder Standing outside the law We can kiss each other All we want And the whole world will never know We are not following social media We're just following our hearts we don't care if it's right or wrong I guess we're breaking all the rules Thanks my one-eyed chat sing this together you want to do it this sea shanty yeah, let's sing it together. Shanty? we can all sing together That's everyone right. here you want to sing along ahoy mates yeah okay let's uh let's get this going we can do it one two three four we, we are, are not following social media we're just following in our hearts. We don't care if it's cool or not. I guess we're breaking all the rules. Rules. I guess we're breaking all the rules. I guess we're breaking 
Enjoyed our song. Did you enjoy our song? Yeah. Yeah, I dreamt that was a wolf. Oh yes, yeah, so did I. Well, did you yeah, you enjoyed our song, people. Yeah. Yes. Well, good. We'll be sure to hear more on the spellcast. The best. Yeah, that's the spellcast. www.thespellcast.com with one L. We'll see you and, there, uh, you scullywags. Toodaloo. Ciao. Woohoo. So a little uh, technical stuff. Let's. Uh, oh, you want to go host again? Okay. Excellent. Six. So let me see if I can make that happen quickly. Hang on, guys, while I put myself back into host. I have to figure out which account oh, of mine. I know that, but there's two oh. accounts, I and I have to figure out which one. There, there's a second one. Holy moly. It's that one. It's the one that has a video and uh, I don't know. That one oh. has a video, so that's the one. Okay. Okay. Because I'm using both accounts. Because I got it. Change host. Next one. Uh, now I'm host again, so I should be. Danny is still muted. Somebody mentioned that I'm still muted. I heard that. Okay, you turn your volume off, otherwise we'll have trouble. Uh, and rolling. <laughs> Excellent. So now we're going to go to the next film. Wasn't that great? That was Spellcast. Yay! Yay! And they do a lot of amazing programming. It's a lot of podcast programming. So find their podcast. And we're always doing stuff with us. Kit's always in the room because he's part of the museum too. Uh, so what is the next one I'm playing? Oh, I think I put in The Little Dutch Mill, which we're debuting. This is such, the still images are to die for. Wait till you see the video. It's just so much fun. There's so much great stuff going on here. These soundies were meant for these giant film jukeboxes you put in a quarter and instead of playing a, a song, it played the song and the film. And it was the 1950s up till the 70s. Originally it was a panorama machine from America and then a scopey tone from France, but it actually played you a 16 millimeter film right there in the bar. <laughs> so you were watching a film that was strung up in a film, you know, in this projector uh, for a quarter and the earlier machines were a dime. Uh, and they made these elaborate, ridiculously funny videos for these, these, these films for it. So this is one of them. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I strung up the Dutch mill. Yes, I did. And then after that, uh, I, we're gonna have another performance. Uh, it will be um, uh, Steve doing his, oh my God, what do we call it? Oh yes. Uh, so I am, uh, my musical act is uh, called Steam Cordia. Steam Cordia. Um, yes. Excellent, thank you. I was, uh, oh my God, <laughs> like, oh, actually the next film is gonna be, oh, Steve, you know this one. I wanted to play this right before you and the one after you is gonna be very funny. Uh, this is the, the cockeyed mayor of Kaunakaka with Lonnie McIntyre. So can you guys read that? That's yes. what I was trying to read. <laughs> so that's what we're playing before him because it's perfect. <laughs> So enjoy. I don't know the reason I brought that cover there. <laughs> it's all the ones. You don't want to dig them, you want to sell them. Is that what you did? <laughs> 
Part of the show. Uh, so now we're going to do, Steve, are you ready? Yes. Excellent. So let me spotlight Steve uh, with Steam Cordia. Steve is also one of our fantastic, wonderful, sweet, brilliant uh, staff that helps me with everything from door to stringing up the projectors to making spaghetti. In fact, that's how he started. <laughs> he, was, he came to the shows as a patron and I said, we need spaghetti. I want to give everyone free spaghetti because we give free spaghetti at the speakeasies, don't ask why. And he said, I'll make the spaghetti. And I was like, who's that? And we'd let him make spaghetti and eventually he became a worker. So I'm going to spotlight his thing and then he'll tell you all about his amazing Steam Cordia stuff and cool instruments and everything. So Steve, you are now spotlighted. Wow. Hello everyone. Yes, ah, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so yes, my name is Stephen Cornelius and uh, my musical act is called Steam Cordia. Uh, normally, I go around to steampunk conventions, and I have a, a couple songs related to that, uh, or I guess most of my songs are related to that, um, but obviously there are no conventions happening this year, so instead I decided to uh, cobble together the like five or six different songs that I had uh, written, and I decided to turn them into an album called Questionable Amounts of Sense. Um, so yeah, if you like any of the one or two songs that you hear, uh, Denny, I'll play one and tell me if you want me to do another one. Um, if you like that, yeah, check me out. Uh, Steamcordia at bandcamp.com as well as just type in Steamcordia on Facebook, which is Steam as in water, uh, cord as in rope, ia as in ia. Anyways, uh, this song that I'm going to do is called Isabel. <laughs> There was a young maiden whose name was Isabel. She was so beautiful like no one around. Many a lad would flock to her windowsill to try and woo her however he can. 
sonnets and verses were penned about Isabel. The poets and minstrels were often employed. Violets and roses to catch her attention could often be seen by the passers-by. Now Isabel, she was an inventor, building devices to help her along. One washed her dishes, another sewed dresses, and one large machine would manage them all. And while Isabel enjoyed the attention from mayor and minstrel, local and guest, her one true call was her inventions she could make do without all of the rest. One day a fair suitor from several towns over heard of her splendor, decided to call. He went to her house bringing presents for Isabel, went to the windowsill, let out to call. Isabel, I want to take you away with me. Come with me to my sweet happy abode. Be my sweet Isabel, wife and my own the bell. Make you so happy, I promise I will. Our heroine was in the middle of tinkering with a device that would make her some tea. She called to the suitor, thanks but not interested, I'm quite happy here, now please let me be. Upon this rejection, the suitor was flustered. How could she turn down his charming advance? He called out again, I have traveled for many miles, please reconsider and give me a chance. So with a sigh, she got up from her workbench, put down her tools to go answer his call. She smiled politely and said, thanks for dropping by. I'm quite happy here, so my answer is still no. The suitor then scowled, his face turning sour. He was not acquainted with getting denied. He threw down the gifts as once more he implored her, beginning to show her his less pleasant side. <laughs> Isabel, I want to take you away with me. Come with me to my sweet happy abode. Be my sweet Isabel, wife and my darling Belle. Make me so happy, I promise you will. Once more she smiled, but spoke more directly. You're not the first, and you won't be the last to offer to take me, to wife me, to breast me, to come with you, but I shall have the last laugh. And then she reached up and pulled down a lever. The central machine started to work. Mechanical guard dog sprang from the bushes and chased that proud suitor right out of town. Isabel smiled and went back to her workbench. Her marvelous house had helped her again. She hoped the next visitor gracing her windowsill would have the sense to like science instead. The moral, my friends, if mayhaps I should have one, is that beauty is but a singular trait. If that is the only thing that you'd consider, your fate, I must warn, may not end that great. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I'm Steam Cordia, and yeah, check me out, Bandcamp, Facebook, uh, Steam Cordia at bandcamp.com and facebook.com slash Steam Cordia. Uh, Denny, should I do another quick one or do we want to do the next film? Uh, we're at about 8 11. Uh, do you how what, how are we doing with time? How long is it? Is it like one of these? It's, it's like a minute, minute and a half. That's easy. Let's do that. How could we not Great. do a minute and a half song? Hello. Great. So this next one is uh, going along with this.
if it was shorter than that, it would go backwards. I mean, that is fair. That is very fair. So this next song is called The Robot Revolt. The robots are coming, they're coming to town. You've heard all the stories, now come gather around. They're sick of their work and they've thrown it all down. The robot revolt has begun. Begun, begun, they will have their fun. The robot revolt has begun. They're tired of working and toiling away. Out in the forest and mines every day. They long for a life they can just waste away. The robot revolt has begun. Begun, begun, they will have their fun. The robot revolt has begun. They're out with a vengeance, they're picking up steam. The pistons are churning, the engines all scream. Out here in the sun, their saws really gleam. The robot revolt has begun. The robot revolt has begun. So quick to your post, grab your gun and your gown. Bid the missus goodbye and to get out of town. It's time for a reckoning, we'd best hunker down. The robot revolt has begun. Begun, begun, out here in the sun. The robot revolt has begun. Begun, begun, let's go have some fun. The robot revolt has begun. <laughs> Thank you very much. So yes, that was the robot revolt. That's how and Stephen solves the election problem that we're having. Yes, we just we have a robot revolt. revolt and take over. Pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, and it's also his cure to COVID. We just robots don't get COVID. <laughs> so you're you're brilliant, Steve. I love it. That oh, was thank fantastic. You. And thank Steve, you very much. like I said, does a lot of steampunk events. He makes a lot of his own. Uh, he makes a lot of his own instrumentation as well. Um, and Jessica asks if you do bar mitzvahs. Um, I suppose if I'm not doing anything else, I could certainly do bar mitzvahs. Uh, feel free go. to send any uh, inquiries to steamcordia at gmail.com. Steam is in water, cord is in rope, ia as in ia.com. <laughs> we love you, Steve. I'm going to now spotlight uh me again so that you see the next film uh the next film is a classic this is and i can't believe i managed to get this clip i managed to get zippity doo um so we're going to watch uh the little clip of zippity doo which is just one of these feel good happy songs that i just love and we kind of need so zippity doo and then we're going to have a very very special performance uh, right off the stage. She just came off the stage yesterday from, from uh, Mermaid Parade. Uh, and now they're going to be performing right here. Uh, and let me make sure I get the name really, really right. It's uh, Obsidian. So, um, but she'll introduce herself properly, properly uh, after I do my shtick, but I'm getting into my messages here so I can get it completely right. Obsidian Absurd um, will be right after that. And then I'm going to play, uh, because it's perfect for uh, Liz. She does brilliant, brilliant work. Uh, so I'm going to play the Dutch mill house right after her. Um, so stay tuned. Here's Zippity Doo Doo. I don't 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, that is always a wonderful feel good uh, song. And uh, now for another one of my favorite artists, Liz. I'm so glad she was able to do this because she's got so much going on today. She like ran from a family thing and had all the funny stuff last night. We were all in the Mermaid Parade. So I think you can find the footage somewhere. I put my piece up on YouTube uh, so you can find it there. And I think I put hers up on YouTube too. Yes, you can see her performance on YouTube also, but now you're gonna see her live. So uh, enjoy, I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna spotlight you. Obsidian, so hang on, let me, it'd be better if I see you. There you are, Obsidian Absurd. Spotlight, voila, you have the con. Oh, but you have to unmute yourself. You are not unmuted. So let me ask to unmute. Yeah, I'm trying to flip around the video. Not a worry, I did it for you. I have control. <laughs> it's not letting me turn it around. There oh, there's a little funny. Got it. Yeah. Um, presenting. Obsidian, absurd.
it. We love it. Nice. Hello. It's me again. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Don't apologize. You're bro you're both brilliant. <laughs> that you. was really wonderful. I am Thank so impressed. You. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you're welcome. How so can long. they find you? Um, Obsidian Absurd on Instagram. Um, Obsidian Absurd. Pretty much Instagram is the best way. Excellent. Uh, so donate to her. Go to her shows. That is the best donation to pay to, to, you know, to get admission and go to a show is both good. That's even better than donation. Then you get a performance <laughs> and you support them. Uh, but she does great, great, great stuff. And when we open up, uh, hopefully she'll be back and do things live when we are able to do live again. I would uh, love that. All. So once again, Obsidian Absurd. Wonderful. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So the next film, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight me, spotlight me again. There we go. I'm getting very good at toggling back and forth. Uh, the next film we're going to play is The Little Dutch Mill, which is a uh, early to mid 1940s piece that was meant, like I said, for the Scopey Tones and for the Panoram Machines, the film jukeboxes. Then after that, hopefully he's ready for us. Uh, Zero Boy, are you ready for us? Because we will hopefully have Zero Boy after that. Uh, and if not, I have another film strung up and then if he's not ready. <laughs> but otherwise we'll have Zero Boy who does amazing stuff. I am ready. Excellent, good. I am ready. Um, so also look him up and donate. And every week he's doing uh, some shows that you can uh, show up to. He'll kind of like that's on the down low. So you got to find out about that by asking him. Uh, but he also does a lot of virtual stuff. And he did the, what was it, the Gangster Logs? here at the Speakeasy about a, almost a year ago or so, uh, which were really amazing. And they performed it on St. Mark's Place. So like I said, we're gonna do the uh, Dutch Mills thing and then Zero Boy. I'm 
seen it from beginning to end straight through. I only saw little bits at the beginning and then it fixed it. I had a lot of editing to do. Um, so the next piece we've got is the artist Zero Boy and he'll give you an idea of what he's doing, which uh, cool performance he does, but he's been everywhere. He's been on, I think even MTV if I'm not mistaken, uh, but all these TV shows, and performances and places. So he's done everything. So I'm going to highlight you. I'm going to spotlight you, Zero Boy, so that they see your picture. Let me, wow, it's not letting me. Why is it not letting me? All right, hold on. Am I spotlight? Cancel spotlight. And, hmm. It's not allowing me to spotlight you for some reason, Zero Boy. Why is that? Oh, you have no video on. Zero boy, turn on your oh. video. <laughs> of course, I can't spotlight you if you're not, if you have no video. Make spotlight. Oh my God, that's incredible. Everyone, you got to come see this. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh -oh. <laughs> Can you hear me all right? <laughs> Yes. I'm just making sure that uh, everything's working just fine on the spaceship right here. Whoa, whoa, what's that? Whoa, COVID. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to have to speed up out of there. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to introduce you to myself, Mr. Zero Boy. Tonight using... Tonight I bring you a message of hope. While the world burns in its own traumatic expressions, you are watching art. You are enjoying change from the bubbles of humanity. Blue. 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 Whoa. Blue. 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 So, as I sit here in my humble position, well, I have to ask, how are you? Have you opened your heart up to anyone else? Have you opened your heart to anyone? <laughs> or are you in constant temptation to revolt against all the things that you see? <laughs> Here. <laughs> I have brought for you a small device that I have prepared unless my demands are met. If I am not given over 5,000 cookies tomorrow, your planet will be next. <laughs> Shall I show you a small expression of my animosity? Oh, it's getting hot, isn't it? A little hotter than you expected. Whoa, is anyone making cookies for me? I don't hear you. Are you making cookies for me? Then I will turn it up full. And goodbye. But that is only a scenario I could make if you do not listen to what I have to say and follow. 
This is ZNN News. Thank you for checking in with us. Uh, Emperor Zing has given up the ghost and will not be destroying the planet Earth as he had predicted with his intense laser nuclear cannon. In fact, we now bring you the coronavirus report. With over 180,000 dead, the president has once again patted himself on the back. But hey, that's just something when you're in the stars, you're in the stars. Why not, ladies and gentlemen, just sit back while we bring you change. Change from the old days. But first, <laughs> let me just wash my hands over here. Yes, I know. You're thinking, <laughs> why do I bring you here to talk to me in a public restroom? Because that is the day that politics is true. I don't know. I really, I, I, I. Son, you're going to school. Harvard. A pedigree that is worth its weight in gold. But unfortunately, son, due to COVID, you'll be taking your classes on what? You'd rather go to YouTube High and YouTube College. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You're going to go on Zoom and watch those classes on... You can get the same classes for free on YouTube? Oh, I... What the hell you go on the... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the 54th state of Soviet Union. Thank you once again to the former president for life, Mr. Trump. His work has raised the spirits of all you Russian people of Amerikeski. Now, today, we bring you a peon to democracy, King George. You were taught in school that King George took over America to give the Trump family a heretical rule. <laughs> yes, I mean, an inherited rule. But please, do not be surprised when you see the fantastic forests and beautiful jungles that we have created for you by letting loose on all these strictures. But go back to Brooklyn and keep your mouth shut as the great Union Republic of Greenland. And okay, that is the end of my show. I leave you now. Hey, Danny, you are done with me, I believe. Uh, you will pay the proper ruble price and you will, of course, display the logo of zero in all uh, uh, there is also download cabaret wednesday night 9 30 perhaps thursday if it's raining so come there you'll see head peddlers peddling their heads and you also see zero boy and both other performers so i say to you good <laughs> Brilliant. Oh my God. Bravo, bravo. Bravissimo. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Yeah, he has everything in his apartment. A time machine, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a spaceship, rockets. It's amazing. Yeah, in a Manhattan apartment. It's amazing how you could do that here uh, and still manage to pay rent. Uh, so, so that was Zero Boy. Look him up. He does great stuff. Support all of his shows. They are amazing. And everybody here support all of their shows. Uh, I have, what film did I put up? Let me run over and take a look because we're running around so much. We have no clue what the hell we're doing anymore. Uh, Amanda, what film did we put up? <laughs> I love when she says good questions. Uh, okay. Oh, this is, I'm debuting this because I didn't get to see it exactly. It's some, it, it got scratched off, but it says, I'm not trying to read the rest of it. Something like Mama with a Boogie Beat. Something Mama with a Boogie Beat. It's one of these sound effect things. So we're going to play that. And then, uh, and then I'm going to open up the great suitcase over here. And then I'm going to talk to Bob and see if he wants to do something. <laughs> uh, so 
So off we go to this really cool one uh, that I've never seen before. Would they be on?
debuted that one. I had no clue what was on that thing. I, I didn't realize that it wasn't a soundy or a vaudeville piece, uh, that it was a cartoon. Uh, but, you know, the cartoons also come out of that whole vaudeville tradition, the Bugs Bunnies and all that. Those, that humor comes out of that also. And of course, that was one of those, as we were mentioning, everyone mentioning in the chat, one of those Black Americana pieces uh, that were banned. There's tons of them. Uh, there's actually, I, I picked up a whole DVD set of the entire catalog of Warner Brothers band cartoons, and it's more than you could ever imagine, because during World War II, uh, you know, there was a lot of, you know, the Japanese, the Germans, you know, all of that was going on. And then, of course, you have the Black Americana going on, and even stuff, you know, with, with the Jews and everything with big moves or something. Everything was caricature. Uh, but it's a, but a, you know, I have a whole collection of it. In fact, people have asked me to do one show just illuminating that side of history because uh, it's very important to learn from, uh, just like we learn, you know, you teach uh, World War II and Hitler in schools. It's very, very important to learn these things so that we uh, don't repeat them as, as everyone knows, don't repeat history. Um, so the next uh, artist I have coming on is amazing. He's also been on every channel you could think of and every venue you could think of. I think every comedy club in Times Square as well. Uh, he's been on the Speakeasy multiple times. I think he's been on Conan O'Brien as well, if I recall correctly. Uh, Bob is, is amazing. Uh, and Bob, I want you to know that you're opening up for um, a, a very, very cool act. Uh, you're opening up for Abbott and Costello, who's on first. Uh, that's, oh, great. Great. I literally tore apart the venue trying to find, I knew I had it here somewhere and I went <laughs> through everything so that I could play that after you because I knew that uh, as homage to you, that would be perfect. And well, if you think great. about it, their skits were also coming out of that tradition. Oh, so uh, the comedian, Bob Greenberg, brilliant. Go for it. Thank you. I'm gonna, Thank you. Hang on, Bob. I'm, hang on, Bob. I'm going to spotlight you so they see I'm you. I'm here all week. Am I? Am I? Am I? Can you hear me? Yeah, you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you now. Can you? <laughs> can you see me? Oh, good. That was that was a great cartoon. You have to see Cole Black and the Seven Dwarfs. That's a wonderfully wonderful Warner's racist cartoon. Um, the only gag I can tell you about that is there's Murder Incorporated as their rates on the side of their car and it says uh we kill anybody for one dollar midgets half price <laughs> japs free 
That's um, anyway. So you know that it's the kind of cartoon. <laughs> but uh, all right, now we're in a racist venue. So let me tell style. I'll tell you. I'll tell a couple of Jewish jokes. You like some Jewish jokes? I'll tell you some Jewish jokes. And <laughs> being that I'm Jewish, I can do that. You see, I can tell fat jokes and white jokes, and then I'm done. I can't tell it <laughs> because it's PC, you know. So I, I can do. I can tell a joke about people with rosacea. You see, I can do that. I can, and brown eyes, no hazel eyes, I, whatever. So here's a joke. The Hebrew home for the agent had a big party for Irving because Irving won the Mega Millions. He won the lottery. They're having this wonderful party for Irving. And his best friend Saul says to Irving, So Irving, now you're a millionaire. What are you gonna what are you gonna do with your money? And Irving says, Well, I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is erect a statue to Adolf Hitler. And Saul says, Irving, I can't believe you would say such a thing. You were in the camps. How could you possibly erect a statue to Adolf Hitler? And Irving says, well, he did give me the numbers. <laughs> Very edgy joke. But I figured it followed that uh, part. Want another one? Want another edgy one? This is a good one, too. <laughs> one more? One more? Yeah? OK. Sure. sure, go for it. Go for it. OK. Uh, well, how do you follow a joke like that? Okay, we'll make it Irving and Saul. There we go. It's World War II. It's, it's France. It's occupied France. Yes. And Irving and Saul, they join up with the, uh, the French resistance, you know, the French freedom fighters. And all oh, they're wonderful. Even though Germany is occupied, they're blowing up bridges. They're blowing up, you know, munitions. They're blowing up everything. They're trying to fight the Axis as best they can, but uh, alas, you know, uh, Irving and Saul and the rest of the French freedom fighters, they get captured and they're going to be executed as spies. Now, the uh, German general in charge, he is, he is not without class. He, he's going to do this the proper way, and so he lines up the French freedom fighters and Irving and Saul, and he goes down the line asking each one, would you care for a last smoke? A last sip of wine, a blindfold. He goes down the line, wine, blindfold, wine, blindfold, sip of wine, cigarette. And then he comes down to the two Jewish guys at the end. And he says, the song says, would you care for a sip of wine, a last smoke, a blindfold? And Saul says, I spit in your, in your wine. I spit on your cigarette. I spit on your blindfold, and I spit on you. And Irving tugs at him and says, Saul, don't make trouble. <laughs> there you go. A little, little uh, edgy comedy for uh, one role, So I love it. Thank you, Bob. Sure, and sure. I, I, that, that joke, of course, is not uh, COVID friendly because he spits on everything. Whoa. Well, so, yes, these were these were difficult <laughs> times, you know. There was Nazis and. <laughs> so now you've gone non-PC to the for the current era even more. I love it. I was impressed. well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know. But uh, I think how do you follow that 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 cartoon? So you know, I I felt I. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, to, <laughs> up the ante, up the ante. <laughs> You know, I, I mean, it's like you know, Lenny Bruce when he would start hurt. Where, where do you go? For the, you have to keep going. <laughs> but uh, but since it's uh, Abbott and Costello, I, I think that's uh, they came from the vaudeville tradition, and you know, I'm sure they yeah. they told a few Jewish jokes in their day. So you know, yeah. I think it worked. Them and Marx Brothers and and that whole genre, uh, Laurel and Hardy, all these. I, I don't think yeah, out. Laurel and Hardy were the only ones that didn't do Jewish jokes, but I. And probably oh, I'm not saying people. Jewish jokes. I'm saying oh. vaudeville. They oh, come vaudeville. Out of the vaudeville of yes, yes. Yeah, they Chaplin, out of the Chaplin did a Yiddish. Thing. Chaplin apologized for it in his uh, autobiography, but he actually did a uh, a Jewish stand-up act. The only time he ever did stand-up when he was young. Wow, he did stand-up. He did a he did a Jewish character. You know, in one they used to call it in one a comedian in one performing in front of the curtain, and he apologized for it in 19 when he when they wrote his book. It's called My Autobiography. In case. It is his autobiography, but, but it's called that. And he actually tells a couple of jokes, and, and he didn't realize how anti-Semitic these jokes were. They're, they're really not that bad, but he felt bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Jews are pretty, pretty good at joking about ourselves. We're pretty good at laughing at ourselves. True. It's, that's how I we, love that's that how we survive. That's how we survive. True. And, and yeah. uh, they, they told, I mean, I don't want to get maudlin here, but they told those kind of jokes in the camps. Did you know that? They, they, 
there's a documentary about the jokes that were told in the concentration camp just to oh, keep them to just to keep them happy you know just to keep yeah. them you know because when you stop laughing that's that's bad yeah exactly um that's another th mel brooks also up in the catskills doing his uh, stuff he was also part of that genre you know sure an extension sure. of that genre i spoke to him and he he said oh yeah i used to do stuff up there i don't know if you know this but mel brooks uh had learned drumming from one of the great jazz drummers uh, i think benny goodman lived oh, near cool. him and he used to hear him from the window mm -hmm. uh, and he said it was a choice between being a comedian and being a jazz drummer wow. yeah wow. He, it was that it was really a choice between the two i interviewed oh. him and i couldn't believe that he actually uh uh, said that I was like, wow! And, imagine and, that. Yeah, and Sid Caesar was a saxophone player, I believe. A, a lot of them started as musicians. And, and Woody Allen plays. Every, a he plays clarinet, every right? Monday. Clarinet, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clarinet. He, he's so, uh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so you know, all the Marx Brothers. I and mean, it's that you, you, timing. Yeah, they all played instruments. The Mar Groucho played oh, a, a mean, mean guitar. He, he does it in maybe two movies, but he could really play the guitar. As of, of course, Harpo and Chico, we all know. Yeah. Oh, that piano playing. When you watch him, that's mm -hmm. real. That's real. And you're seeing him do those those notes when he goes, da -da 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 -da, and you just look at him and you're like, he's incredible. He's an acrobat pianist. <laughs> I've What's never your language? Like Did you say pe pe penis? Did penis. You say? Penis. Okay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's keep this. <laughs> and, and don't say aristocrat either. Maybe he's, a, he's an acrobat <laughs> piano. <player. laughs> It's almost like he's doing like, you know, somersaults while he's well, doing his piano playing. Well, the amazing. story is Harpo says, and Harpo speaks, I'm, I'm naming everybody's autobiography here, Harpo speaks, uh, that the teacher that taught Chico how to play, and Chico taught Harpo how to play, uh, had like a dead hand or something, like never played with one of the hands, so always kind of just basically hit a couple of chords with, I think, the left hand, and just played with the right hand. So he, so he learned all these little tricks. You know, with huh. the keys. So if you notice, he's basically playing right hand, and the left hand is doing this. So uh, watch oh, how he funny. plays. That's how he learned. He learned that way, and Hop played the same way. So uh, it's kind Hop, of a Fozzie Bear method. Yeah, yeah. I don't know <laughs> what was wrong with the teacher's hand, but it was like a dead hand. So interesting. We'll have to look that up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I actually have a film coming in. The Thieving Hand from around 1910, 1908, which is the most amazing special effects film from that early. It's this arm that literally moves around on its own and it's special effects. It's, a, it's brilliant. When we debut that, it'll be unbelievable. So I'm going to unspotlight you. Sorry to unspotlight you. <laughs> Bye, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Support Bob. Look for him on the internet. Support him. Go to his shows. He is amazing and brilliant. Uh, so like I said, he is opening for Abbott and Costello. Who's on first? This is at an army base, Fort Dix, right here in New Jersey. When I was in high school in, at 16 years old, I was the school photographer and we did a, uh, we interviewed the soldiers at Fort Dix and I was the photographer doing literally uh, negatives that were this big, you know, the three by four negative film. I used big, large format film. And I'll never forget, they had me shoot a gun, an M16. And I, and I, I was able to shoot the gun better than the soldiers. I was literally shooting a guy in the head 10 times in 10 seconds. And the army soldiers looked at me and they're like, what's up with the 16 year old? So he, he takes me to another area for like the sharpshooters. And he puts me on a more difficult gun further away with a guy running from a rock to a tree. And I was, I was like a sharpshooter. I shot him five times in the heart and five times in the head. And he saw that I did that on purpose. He looks at me and he goes, son, what are you doing after high school? Uh -huh. And I said to him, I'm going to NYU. I've already taken, I was already like taking class. I was like really into NYU. And, and he looks at me, he goes, well, have you thought of the army as a career? He didn't know that I was like one of these political activist pacifists. I was like such an insane justice freak, you know? And, and so he looks at me and I, his, his mouth dropped when I looked at him and I said, actually, I'm a pacifist. And he's like, this is like a natural born killer. And he's like, and I'm a vegetarian and he's just, he couldn't believe it. He's like, he didn't know what to say with my shop shooting. And he goes, well, if you ever change your mind, give us a call. And I thought, if I ever change my mind and decide to kill people, then I'll okay. give him a call. Like, how do you make that decision? What do you, you wake up one day, you go, you know, I've changed my mind. 
<laughs> you know, I, I just, it was the funniest statement. It just has to do with eye hand coordination. You know, it's not, that's all it is. But yeah, this is Fort Dix and they're doing their, their shtick, uh, Abbott and Costello, the who's on first shtick uh, at Fort Dix. And this is one of these things that evolved uh, over the years, this shtick that they do. So enjoy an original 16 millimeter film. Are you recording, sweetie, or? Oh, you want to just turn it on mute? Thank you. Uh, don't ask me why I memorized which light switch is the right one. After, you, after months of getting it wrong every time, all of us have started to learn these things. Uh, so isn't that an amazing piece? Yeah, I tried to research it. It's, I, I found almost no information on this Fort Dix uh, skit. Uh, I did learn that it, they kind of were riffing on a skit that came earlier than this. I forget what the original uh, skit was, and they kept evolving this skit, uh, and it became a huge success. Um, but yeah, it's, this is very rare footage. I have another uh, who's on first that I was, as you guys saw, I was 
ripping through our new acquisitions trying to find it because I thought I packed it, in, packed it in my bag and brought it here and I can't find it. But we're going to do a box opening and open up the second uh, Who's On First uh, version I have and see which one that is. Um, so uh, let's see, what time is it? It's 9.05. Excellent. So we're pretty much done. Uh, oh, but we have to do our suitcase and then I'll play a very short clip. So this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The Vaudeville suitcase. Ta-da! Can you see that? Excellent. You can, kind of. So this was a donation. Can I have some help and someone hold this for me like that? Who is my Vanna White? Excellent. <laughs> so this is basically kind of like a tan capsule for this vaudeville artist. Oh, Bob, I could totally see you wearing this. Ava, I'm glad you're here. I know that you would love this. Look at all the cute hats. So the artist's name was uh, Wilvy Jackson. And I guess I'm gonna have Dana and Amanda try to find her. <laughs> we need to find out who this woman was, what she did. She existed in the early 1900s. Here's some of the makeup that she used. I want you to see the name of this stuff because it's really kind of a cool name. You see that? Crepe hair. Isn't that crazy? And you see this man? Look at this one. Isn't that cool? She had absorbent cotton in there. <laughs> I guess that is for the, you remember the, um, the, the Bugs Bunny skit? How dry I am, how dry I am, nobody knows how dry I am. There's still cotton. <laughs> <laughs> All these weird wigs, isn't that cool? Like a hat wig thing. Another one. And the texture of these, and even the scent is so interesting. Pass this around, smell that. Mm -hmm. It's got a weird scent to it. Oh, here's another fun little hat. Ride 'em cowboy, it says on it. Oh my God, that's like, uh, your grandmother died here on welfare. <laughs> now imagine every one of these pieces we're looking at was a skit she did. So she did a vaudeville skit using every one of these. <sighs> so God knows what each skit must have been like. She's got these cute little brushes. She, he, I don't know what a, what is Wilde? Is that a guy or a, what? I think this is a man's. I think a man's? Is that a man's name? Mustache Wilde? and like eyebrows and things. Yeah, I guess it's a man's thing. I remember she had, oh, here's one without, in, outside of the plastic. Yeah, I've never heard the name Wilde. Everyone else is, all, all my Jewish friends are probably laughing at me because it sounds like a Jewish name. And uh, these are the, you want these look at them? See what it is? Go ahead. Do you want? Oh, actually, you're holding the suitcase. Hello? Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Is that, yeah. So these are clippings that were inspiration. Can you find out? I'll let you. I trust 1941. you. 1921. 1921. 41. Is this a coherent suitcase? In other words, is this, is this what was in the suitcase? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is basically wow. a time capsule. Wow. This, so this is. This came, this was loaded. You didn't load it. This was loaded. This was, lo this is the way it is. Wow. Yeah. This was. This is amazing. This was yeah. all her That's clippings so that would inspire her on different looks and facial expression. Look at that. Isn't that huh. wild? So what, so she was, she was a. I have not gone through everything yet. The vaudeville actress, right? Yeah. yeah, this is for men. So he was a guy. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. He, What's this clipping here? I'm so curious about what newspaper articles this person thought were important for his craft. So should be a gala occasion. Is, oh, it's this one. <gasps> the making of a monster. Holy wow. moly. <laughs> Holy moly. This is an incredible article. What the year is it? Of a monster. That's March thirtieth, nineteen thirty-nine. Wow! Wow! That is really cool. That's so this awesome. guy was That's learning incredible. how to do monster stuff. 
Yeah. This is unbelievable. Yes. Theatrical supplies, catalog number 73 for Waz and Sons. Bob, are you going crazy over this? Paul, you must be like, oh my God. <laughs> this is unbelievable. So this is a catalog that this guy bought his stuff from. Uh, what's in there? It says on the back, it says the, all the joke books. You oh my God. No instruction books, joke instruction. books. I have some of those joke books. I've been collecting them. So here is another cool article on Makeup Magician. This, that's the name of this article, Makeup Magician. So this is his research. My librarian friends are loving this. You're like, oh my God, <laughs> it's a treasure trove. Oh, Zero Boy, you're gonna love this graphic. You're gonna wanna use this for one of your shows. This is so you, Zero Boy. <laughs> that's a smoking gun. That's the smoking gun. And what is this one? Did we go through this yet? No, we didn't because I do not remember. Wow, the price of ambition. And what's on the back side? There's some amazing stuff on the back side here. Can you grab that and open it for me carefully so that I'm ready for the next one? If you want, I know you're loving touching this. And <laughs> Dana and Amanda are helping me out, and Elizabeth is right there doing our Vanna White moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the price of ambition. How amazing is this? These are in next. They are how to. He cut out pieces from the newspaper, telling him how to do like makeup from this to this that oh, someone I see. else had done. Is... So he did a how he cut it out as a how-to for himself, right. probably. Oh my God, yeah, this is, so these are his <laughs> take-ups. So you, Amanda noticed that these are glued on. They're from so a newspaper. He, yeah, so, and he, he numbered them, one, two, three, four, five. So this is his little cheat sheet, you know? These are his cheat sheets. This is amazing. This guy was good. <laughs> Steins, okay, okay. Bob, <laughs> Bob, you're gonna love this. <laughs> what the funny. Sam Hill is nose funny? funny. For your nose. For your nose. For really? Your nose. I thought it was for my earlobe. So it's probably prosthetic. Oh, for your nose. Yeah, you put a putty nose. Putty nose. Okay, we gotta open it. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, this is so cool! You could not do this better. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Well, you gotta rub gotta it. it. You gotta rub it you like silly potty. And put it on. My God, it don't rub go it. crazy no, it's, on it. No, it's, 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 it's calcified. That's, you guys, yeah, it might oh be my too God, hard. <laughs> She's like, it's I, I hard in nose putty. Yeah, Bob, you have to touch this. Gonna put some <laughs> hot water on it. Put some hot water. <laughs> you gotta put some hot water, dude. Even with hot water, I'm not putting that anywhere near my nose or any other part of my body. <laughs> <laughs> Dana was like, yeah, I'm not touching it. <laughs> She's smart. All of us are going to end up with some weird alien disease next week. Uh, what is this? I can't even read it with my glasses. Oh, wow. Grease paint. Uh, grease paint. That's what uh, grease paint. Yeah. wonder what's in here. <laughs> Little hair thing. Uh, <laughs> what is that? I have oh, no. Oh, it's a it's, it's a, a mustache. mustache. It's, it's a mustache. A mustache. It's a mustache. Those little the little things you put up your nose. You put up your nose. Oh my God, that's crazy. To clamp it into the nose. Yeah, I'm doing that. So cool. I wonder. I wonder if there's any. Look at these crazy <laughs> wigs this guy had. Ooh. This is nuts. I'm telling you, this is the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Like, as you dig, you find even crazier and crazier stuff. This even has labels. This is like official. Hmm. Adjustable wig number 1853976. You got all that? It's for playing <laughs> moils. When you play a moil, you wear that. Oh, one. God, help us. <laughs> uh, what else is in here? This, what is that? I don't even know what that is. And then I have no clue what this funny little thing is. I guess that is to put on it. Another funky hat. Are there more weird and unusual? Yeah. More weird and unusual. Another cool article. Another cool picture thing. 
middle age. So this is how to use thespian paint. Thespian paint. Thespian paint. Thespian. 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 Mr. Colors. Thespian. Mr. Colors. It's a copyright thing. Thespian paint. Thespian paint. Yeah. And that's how you use it. Bob, you've been doing it wrong. You need to get this case. <laughs> Jenny, I feel like you need to uh, scan some of these and stick them on your website. I know. Look yeah. at this. Here it goes. Stein. Spirit. I've heard of Steins. Yeah. Stein? Yeah, Steins. Spirit gum. It's to like. Yeah, you put that. You put the spirit gum on the, your face, and you put the uh, the crepe and hair, put, the white hair, over, and you cut it. And become oh, a ghost. Painful it would be to rip that off every oh, like every night before. This. He's got an RKO sales department contact. You know, little button here. Okay, oh, wow. Yeah. And he probably worked movie theaters. Mm -hmm. He probably did vaudeville and movie theaters. There's the Man of a Thousand Faces. This is a few of them. Different okay. noses. From, from <laughs> Gentile noses. to Jew. Gentile okay. to Jew. I'll take it up. There's the nose. Oh, and we found the nose. Mm -hmm. For the Boyle character. There's the nose. <laughs> noses ran in his family. <laughs> you, you blew that this one. Is, uh, this little thing. What the? Ooh. Oh, obsidian. There's your knight. There's the sword you can use. Are you still here? I told you he was a moil. Yes, I'm still oh, yes, here. Can you hear me? Yes, there you are. Can you, yes. you want to sword swallow that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that I is incredible. I forgot you're here. This is so you. Oh my God, this is so I am you. freaking out about this. This is such an incredible find. You Amazing. have to come by the apartment and check all this stuff out. Whistle. This is so you. Love to. See, I, I want to put myself up for adoption at her house because, my God, her family is so cool. She is such a collector. and oh, It's not my artist. family, girl. It's just me. <laughs> just all this thing. collection is mine. Oh, oh wow, his glasses are in here. Nice glasses. Oh, beautiful. These are stunning. With the original case and everything. This guy was good. And here's his little mirror. Yeah. I know that when we finish, we'll look through this and find other things. We're like, oh my God, we should. What is this too? <laughs> What is I that? guess this what is, is some sort of applicator. Uh, some sort of applicator, I guess. Yeah, that looks like a schmear. It looks like a schmear, it schmear something, right? Yeah. Makeup brush. Yeah, it's a makeup, makeup brush. brush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some sort of applicator to applicate makeup. Put on your makeup. Uh, what else is buried under here? Oh, he's got uh -huh. a Ziploc bag. <laughs> a Ziploc bag? Well, that's, that, that's not uh, that's not error. Yeah, I don't think he had that. But <laughs> Time Somebody traveler. was smart enough to put a few things in a Ziploc bag, and there's the teeth. Uh, a funny character. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, I know. Well, so this guy was like a Lon Chaney of the vaudeville scene or something, I guess, right? Look at that all these crazy glasses. Those look contemporary. And they've been added. Are those this is like the Where's new? Waldo glasses, new? right? Those look kind of new. Yeah, this might be somebody else's addition to this. Somebody added to it. Mm -hmm. Maybe. There's a lot of crazy teeth. They look like some things here look like they were there from before. And some looks like it might have been added. Who knows? Mm -hmm. oh, Come on, admit it. Admit it, Denny. Uh, you, did no. it. you took all your junk and you put it in a box that and you're like, made up like, this character. Looks like Linus. <laughs> so from this goes right. like this. You're, you're oh, a great oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I see. It's the Cyrano nose. Yeah. Ink. Oh, it's a Jimmy Durante. <laughs> Ink. A dink a doo. A dink a dee. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Thank telling you, you, it's just the gift that gives on giving. You, you can literally go through this forever and find more stuff. That's, that's, a, that's a little hat. hat. That's a little hat. It's a little hillbilly uh, hat. For how you do it, right? Uh, is this another Steins? I don't know. It looks like it's a... St Stool. Makeup stick. 
It's a makeup stick. Right, but I'm trying to read the name too. Uh, I can't read it. It is a ma it's empty. Yeah. It really was on board. It, it, it's pancake. I think it's pancake, but you would you would you smear it on. Grease <laughs> paint. Yeah. It was on board though. Yeah, this guy was good. Yeah. This guy was amazing. This is just it's a it's deep case. So full of he, he lived he lived out of that bag. Yeah, he really did. This went this probably went all over the country. You know, he probably had a probably, wardrobe. He probably had a wardrobe yeah. trunk too. What is something New York? Mm, Can you read that? that yeah. Oh wait, that's his name. Maybe what's his first name? No, no, it was uh, no. Wolvie. I keep thinking well, Wendell Wilkie, but I it's, think it's for a little uh, pen knife. A yeah, case for pen knife. Still maybe a pen knife. Yeah, yeah. Nail yeah. file, like a file. Mm. Nuclear oh, reactor. Uh, oh, he's got all these whistles. Over. This looks like one of these whistle type things. There's a name on it. Oh, Something really? company. What? He's probably a clown with those little those little hey, hats and everything. Utica, he's New York. A clown. Utica, this is from Utica, New York. Does it go? Ooh. Yeah, it's, <gasps> a word. it's a word. Yeah. yeah. He, he would ride a little bicycle oh and make God. that noise. <laughs> with the little hat. <laughs> with, with the little hat and the little bicycle. That's what he works in France. He, yeah. You got it. <laughs> Obviously, this is Bob's suitcase, and he That's looks good suitcase. for That's my suitcase. I've been looking for that. I, can't, I couldn't do Santa Claus last year because you had my suitcase. Woo-woo! <laughs> Bob, didn't you leave that a poor authority in 1973? I did. I did. I found it in the bathroom at Port Authority. That I haven't. I haven't worked since. Lying about is <laughs> that steel tube, an exploding cigar? Tap dancing. Are those taps? Believe. Wow. So. Yeah, you're right. Those this are taps. Guy, this guy did everything. My God, he was the tap dancing he really did oil. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that last thing that you take Bob anywhere. Nowhere. Nowhere. Oh. That cake, what are we gonna that, do with you? That's gonna be pink. I think it's gonna be white. Let's see if it's gonna okay. be white. Pink. I'm gonna let you guys open this. You guys have some fun. Do a twist. You gotta do a twist. Do a, bit, a bit okay. twist. Uh, I'm gonna get to the next item. Here's another one of these whistle okay. things. He had a lot of what? Makeup. Oh my lord! Yeah, that's is it white? Is it makeup. white? It is white, right? It's like kind of pink powder. It's, oh, oh, it's powder. Powder. It's powder. Okay. It's yeah. for setting the makeup. So that's 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 to put over like that, right? Yeah. Who is saying that? Who has that nice deep voice? My God, where is Travesty? This is Travesty's bag too. Yeah. This is yeah. Where is he? Oh. You know he's gonna get back to me tomorrow morning. He's gonna go. Oh, I'm sorry, I was busy. You know, Daddy, you're gonna get the ricket from putting your mouth on all those things. Oh my God, this is nice. You're gonna get a whooping cough. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is that? That's cream for cleaning the makeup off. Oh, right. sure. yeah. Cold yeah. cream. Oh, my God. You're not going to believe who made this cold cream. Who? This is when he was still a makeup artist, maybe. No, he was already doing products because this is a product. Oh, Max Factor. Yeah, yeah. Max Factor. He had a big store. Oh, wait. Don't leave yet. I've got a oh, box openings. Okay, so we're going to close up soon. He's got he's to work, so he's... We'll gonna, do it quick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna do a, an unboxing real quick. We finished this unboxing. That was great. That was great. Yay! And Curse is boiled again. The cream is still there. Oh, the cream is still there. Yeah, it's still creamy. Wow, you could still use this stuff. I would put that in a cool, dry, cool, dry spot. It's creamy though. It stays creamy even in milk. Remember to put all this back in there. It's about a hundred years, I think. We'll do. Yeah, I'm gonna. You do probably it put it on and go through a time, you know, change. All of a sudden, you're in 1941. And that creepy well, guy with the banana outfit. This and we'll do the people leaving quick <laughs> box like opening. Twilight Zone. So, uh, like Twilight Zone. You yeah. guys, yeah, we'll do like half of us. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Or should we do everyone? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do an unboxing. This is a virtual unboxing, although I'm gonna have Amanda film it. Excellent. So you hold that. I'll tell you when I'm ready. <laughs> And okay, everyone come up over here against the screen that way. I'll move the suitcase out of the way. That way. And. 
Yeah, so everyone doing it, stand over there. Mm -hmm. Make sure, like, and then everyone doing it on the second round, we'll stand over there. Which will be, I guess, it was the guy in the middle who stole my stuff. The guy in the middle. <laughs> so make sure that we see you, but she's going to There's that. something a bit COVID-y about this video. <laughs> uh, let me okay, wait. So we've got how many people? One, two, three, four, and I'll do one, two. So we'll do... Which ones will get COVID? Let's see. Which one? Place Actually, I have enough to do two. Weeks. Like a million. Not like being indoors gets you COVID. And there's the packages. So people can do more than one if you want. So I'll put a bunch of them on the table. And you can open as many as you want. Uh, I'll put a pair of scissors here. And I think I have another pair over there. I should have two. I got three. Even better to have three. And then you guys get to see a live unboxing of new acquisitions for the museum. So uh, I'll mix them up. This is my absolutely ridiculous mixing. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys confused? Yeah. I'm very confused. Good, excellent. I'm Confucius. Yeah. So, okay. Now everyone grab a couple of boxes and open up whatever you want. If it's from the Unabomber, don't open it. Man, come in. You got to do it too. Then everyone open whatever you want. See, I knew this is a They're thing. probably masks. <laughs> All right. All right. You said, are you saving the wrapping? Yes, keep, no what went into what wrapping. When we're done, put it back in there so I can do proper cataloging. You're very good, thank you. Oh, it's a far side card. Oh, oh I, I remember from picking that up. Yeah, that I picked up like a far, a far, a, a, a far side one. So open it up, it's a really funny yeah, so, one. Okay. And ironic nice. for the museum. <laughs> Oh, good. I, I like or coincidence. Okay. Yeah. So this is one of our happy birthday records. Happy birthday, Jason, by Captain Zoom. Okay. So we have a birthday <laughs> collection, which Jessica knows about, oh, if she's yeah. still there. So now I have Jason. So anyone called Jason, we can do a happy birthday for. Happy birthday, Jason. Oh, happy birthday, Jason. These were Captain Zoom. Okay. Jess, are you still here? This one is oh, here. Doing great. Okay. But it's not a name, it's just your Captain birthday Kangaroo. presents birthday. <laughs> yes, I have some uh, regular ones that, so your birthday presents birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, anyone. This is for yeah. anyone, because I have to have some for anyone. And this one, oh, the Rhodes Sisters. I'm, t I'm trying to get one of their other records. Wait, this, one's packaging. Packaging. this one's from. And is, there, is that the only one in there, or there's more? Because there's, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of packaging. It's Captain Kangaroo. Yeah. Wasn't wow. he a little bit of a Oh, so this is the far side. Everyone loves the far side, so let's read it. So then, what would be. Oh, this is great. So they're doing the Declaration of Independence. And he writes, So then, would it be us, the people, or we, the people? <laughs> Isn't that great? I love that. Where'd that go? That was here. That's from Joan Ribbon. Oh, happy I love birthday Joan to Ribbon. Harriet. <laughs> happy oh, birthday. I Harriet. Happy birthday. I love the voice you're doing. Happy birthday to Harriet. Flip it over. <laughs> so there's Joan Rivers. Now, my family has a connection to Joan Rivers. One of my relatives was her interior designer, Lewis. And so when you go to my house, my parents' house, the curtains in my parents' house are the same as Joan Rivers because my mom had to go to her house to see if she liked them. And I got to film Joan Rivers for that. This is a Oh, that's so funny because you're like, you know, the curator, you know, librarian goes, so she opened up something for her craft. How, uh, keep your film clean and scratch free. So this is very cool that I, I, I'm not even gonna open this and use it on my film because it's so cool to get a sealed package of that. And Ooh, it's a Viewmaster slide. Oh, it's beyond Viewmaster. This is a stereoscope a slide. Yeah, these are, oh, for my fire show, and I work with the fire department. Uh, so that is a fire one. And we're also, we were going to do a set, the Elements show with the National Arts Club. So this is uh, Elements. Burning tank of oil in Jenks, Oklahoma. Oh. So if you know Jenks, Oklahoma, this happened about a hundred years ago. Whoops! And now it had an earthquake too. <laughs> so what's next in uh, in our line of uh, hubbub? That one we did. Okay, so I'll put the ones we did over there, so I don't have them in the way. Gary Larson, excellent. 
Uh, and we did those already. The happy birthday. Oh, no, oh. this is the wrong. We didn't do that. No, no, we didn't do that. And there's also um, Captain Kangaroo. Oh, that's a cool one. I love the great. Kangaroo one. Okay, so this is a Dear Dad happy birthday. So now for all you dads, this is, these are the music cards. So, like I said, we have all, about 200 records now in the collection of happy birthday songs. Mm -hmm. So if you call me and want to do a birthday show, uh, I'll play a happy birthday record for you on a Fisher Price 1965 uh, record player. And then we have antiques and you can pick the antiques so we can do medical or photography. Mm -hmm. And then we also will show a short film now. I'm starting to do like a short film of your choice. Um, and then, of course, uh, we, we do a box opening for the whole family. It's, so, is, public, is uh, Happy Birthday in public domain yet? Heard yes, it is. It's yeah. public Singing domain. Happy birthday. Oh, this is a very sweet one. I love the graphic on this one. I wonder if we can get it open fast enough because uh, they put a sticker over it. Uh, so beautiful. Uh, they put the yeah, stupid sticker on it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you guys can try to imagine not having the sticker on it. <laughs> Because I'm not getting it off fast enough. That is really beautiful. And oh, this is the mother load. This is great. And Jessica, are you still here? Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. Yes, Jessica, we're still here, Debbie. Excellent. Good. Because you're going to see the one that I worked very hard getting just because of you. Okay, so we have Captain Kangaroo singing happy birthday to the Jason. Happy birthday, Jason. And to Melissa, <laughs> Missy. And, and to Jessica! Jessica. Yay! Jessica. Yay! Hey, Captain Kangaroo, we brought him back to life just for you to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday, Justin. To Justin, one of my favorite names. I always said if I had a kid, I'd call him Justin uh, or Tristan. And Eric. Eric. Now, everyone, you know Eric. They, we have the birthday song just for them. And back to Jason. How cool is that? That's Captain Kangaroo. We got, and I've got probably about 100 Captain Kangaroos. Wow. <laughs> And that one, oh, up. excellent. So there it is, the daughter one. And there is the music card. I love these music cards. Mm. That is, I just, just for the cover, it's amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. That is such that an like elegant cover. Book. So <laughs> that goes in there. Wow, you keep opening things that's perfect for you. <laughs> Everyone keeps opening things that's a perfect. So that is a touring car i think it's the 34th or the 23rd street ones sightseeing tours and let me see if i can get it off of this craziness uh hold on there's the back side this is before 1906 because it's not divided non-divided cards are uh, pre-1906 so this is a really early one and it's it dated God knows what. It's dated on the Niagara Falls. Wow. January 29th? My birthday. <laughs> this is dated on my birthday. I did not send this. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd look really good for my age. So this is, I'm almost sure this is the 23rd Street Touring 1904. Company. 1904. 1904. Wow. I look good for my age. Uh, sightseeing. What does it say on the bottom there? Something Hill Hotel. No, no, Marie? that in red. Oh, oh. Illustrated postcard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sightseeing tours. But I think that is the, it looks like the touring cars of the 23rd Street Flatiron Building because mm. I have their advertisements and it's almost identical uh, looking. I have their original advertisements. So did we get everything uh, open? We were yeah. done? Excellent. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Give all of them a hand. That was amazing stuff we got open. And uh, now I'm going to do a new, uh, the last film, which is only about three minutes long. It is Jive Dancing. Uh, it's another one of those cool soundies because we got to end on a wonderful good note. Get it, awesome. note, yeah. and it's a film. Okay. <laughs> so off we go. Sound. So, <laughs> What's that? Wow, cool. Oh. <laughs>
have that in your head for like months yeah. that is so <laughs> great uh so thank you so much everyone i hope you all got had an earth shattering time and thank you to all the amazing performers uh <laughs> online and offline and and live and and uh in, in little trap boxes and everything thank you everyone and thank you to the performer uh everyone asked his name will be uh will be jackson so, will be Jackson. Will be Jackson. Yeah, Thank will be you, Jackson. Danny. So let's look it up and let's all try to find out who he was, what he did, and all that. Uh, but I know Dana's going to be able to figure it out. Uh, she's Jackson. good at those things. Um, but yes, uh, once again, thank you so much, uh, Obsidian and Bob and, and Paul and, and Steve Cordia. Thank and, you. Uh, the head peddlers and, and Spellcast for all the amazing work they do. Uh, and for all of you guys, and Zero Boy. So look everybody up, uh, donate, support them, go to their shows, uh, donate, support the museum, come to our shows. I'm gonna try to do something every one of our speakeasies and try to feature somebody each uh, time so that everyone has kind of a little platform during this COVID period. There's no places for people to do stuff. Uh, so uh, anyone who wants to do something, just let me know and we'll give you a little bit of time and promotion and stuff because it's important during this time for us to all support each other. As Kit was saying the other day, it's, it's all about uh, us helping each other out so that we can make it through this. Uh, because the millionaires aren't gonna do it for us. So we gotta do it ourselves. And creatives should not, uh, should not um, uh, drown during this period. Uh, we should flourish and continue uh, because that's the most important part of uh, our society, creatives. We keep everybody uh, positive and appreciative and all that. So thank you so much everyone for being here. And uh, next week, uh, it looks like the theme is going to be, we're gonna be kind of open so you can come and be social distanced or you can watch from your sofa. But the theme is, you ready for this? Prohibition Jazz. That is the theme for the next speakeasy, Prohibition Jazz. I'm so looking forward to it. Uh, we're gonna show original Billie Holiday on 16 and Louis Armstrong and Cab Calloway and all the classics. So prohibition, and then we're gonna have prohibition items here. We're gonna have a sealed bottle of medicinal, medicinal prohibition liquor. Medi I hope you're all going to use it to cure COVID. Because <laughs> that I'm, it's gonna have the government seal on it. Uh, oh God, imagine if the cops came and, <laughs> and they'll be like, you've got alcohol here. And I'm like, dude, no one's drinking it. 
doesn't matter. I'm like, dude, it's been sealed since 1920. <laughs> We're not opening it. Uh, but yeah, that'll be interesting if they show up here. I'll be on like CNN. <laughs> They'll be like, they had alcohol and no food. <laughs> so we are very much uh, appreciative, all of us, for you guys being here. And uh, thanks again. <laughs> Thank you, Denny. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. Yay. So, Amazing, everyone. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Bye, bye. Jonathan, I didn't see you there. <laughs> bye, Timmy. Bye, Obsidian. Bye, Jonathan Lisa. snuck in. He snuck in. There was a back door. I saw door. Jonathan. I know. Bye, David. Good bye luck, Jessica, on all the work. Hopefully, you'll get your PhD and become Einstein. Oh, she's not here anymore. David, tell her. Okay, I'm going to close. Bye.